Egypt was one of the countries where the so-called Arab Spring erupted in 2011. However, the revolution resulted in instability and violence rather than democracy. It's a situation that particularly affected Christians. We live as Christians and as Egyptians. We suffer the same economical, social and security problems and much more. But we have always paid the price for being Christians due to the ignorance and poverty that feeds fundamentalism. So every now and then we have to pay a price. This price meant a wave of violence that caused the burning of churches, assassinations and persecution. Patriarch Sidrak said that little by little, intolerance is disappearing. Egypt has had better luck than other Middle Eastern countries where jihadists from the Islamic State continue to sow terror. Although radical Islam clouded Egypt's future, it was rejected by Egyptians. We now have a better president and government, and we also do not have the Islamic State because Muslims here have discovered the failure of this Islamic political system. However, in countries like Iraq and Syria, the sectarian ideas of these radicals have become popular among Muslims. The Patriarch assured that a non-violent international intervention could stop them. Violence will always lead to violence. Maybe we can accept an intervention to stop them, but it would not be a solution. I think that those who have the choice or the possibility of making a decision can stop them even without resourcing to war. But at the same time, the Patriarch asks that if the international community does intervene, to do so with responsibility and not be moved by other interests. He gave Iraq as an example, where the solution of toppling a dictator led to the disintegration of the country.